Hello everyone and welcome to Steve's How To. Today I am going to show you how to make up a favicon. What's a favicon? Well if you take a look on the left upper screen of my browser there's a little picture beside my website address or my web domain. This helps people recognize who you are so if you go on your favorite thing you'll see all these favicons in there and people can recognize your website so they can click the click on it and it looks a lot better too and it looks more professional so what we're gonna do is we're on my home page www.steveshowto.com we are going to go to search engine optimization right here in the left hand side and once we're here we're gonna go into search engine visibility special tips and towards the bottom down here you'll see using a favicon on your website pages so a little description of what a favicon is is a short form for favorite favorites icon also known as a website icon shortcut icon your icon or bookmark icon normally it is 16 by 16 pixels but you can also have them at 32 by 32 pixels or 64 by 64 pixels so we're gonna go down here and we're going to click on this little free thing here I have on my website. I'm going to open up this website there that I found, which is very good. And it actually converts a JPEG or an image into a favicon.ica ICO or .gif. So you can have a GIF file as well. So let's go into Paint. Something really simple here. We're going to make up a JPEG. So let's just grab a shape here. Mind you, you need a perfect square shape because that's what your favicon is. So let's go into our paint here and I don't know, let's make it purple. And then we're going to grab a text editor here and we're going to put something in here in our website. So I don't know. Say uh, my website for my domain names and all my products is gobro.com www.gobro.com so let's just go and go and put go on here and let's just change the color because otherwise we won't be able to see it let's make that this grayish color okay so now we're going to go ahead and fill in this paint here and then we're going to go and trim this a bit so go here Select all. Everybody knows how to use paint, so I don't have to go through all this stuff. And I'm just going to go and from here, like this. So it's kind of squares. Okay, so there is our shape. So I'm going to go save it as on my desktop, so it's easy to find. Call this Fav. Just Fav. I'll call it Fav 5 on my desktop. So I'm going to go back into this little website that I found. We're going to go browse my desktop. We're going to grab our little picture that we just made here. And I think it was purple. I got a couple of them in there. And we're going to hit the button here. It says generate favicon.ico. Now it's going to change the shape. And there it is. That's really cool. You have your GIF, which is a movement, and you have your regular picture ICO file that you see when you go to my website right here on the top here. So search engine visibility. So anyhow, we're going to go back here. Since we did that, we're going to hit this download favicon package. We're going to save it to our desktop, but I'm going to open it up here. I'm going to show you the files inside of it. So this is the .ico, which is the one that I have on my website right here. If I go into a different browser, then I can use a GIF, but Internet Explorer that I'm using does not use GIFs. 
So I'm going to open this back up, and then this other one is a GIF one. So if you double click it and open it up, you can see it that it's, uh, wow, it's pretty cool. Now this readme file here, the only thing you really need to know is basically, it's pretty simple, but these two files right here, linking shortcut icon dot ICO and your dot GIF. So what you want to do is you want to copy that and you want to go into your website HTML between the heads, which is right there. I have lots of other stuff in here, but you're going to put it right there. So it's going to show up right there. And you're going to press OK. Then when you go into your browser, after you upload your picture, now your two other files here. So I open them up here. These two other files here you have to upload to your server root which is your steveshowto.com say if I'm using my name that would be the root upload them to .co and .gif pics or images to your root of your directory once you do that and once you go into you'll see it on there they'll see it on there and when people visit your website they'll see it on the browser until next time, I hope you learned something. Have yourself a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.